Hi guys, welcome back to a Daily Dose of Love podcast. I am your hostess with the mostest, Tasha Bradley. You know what today is. It is Wine Wednesday, guys. What's in your cup? What's in your glass? I am currently sipping on Merlot. I will have a sip and cheers to you all. Oh, that tastes so good. Yes, Wine Wednesday. It's my second favorite day of the week. Sundays are my favorite favorite. Everyone knows I love Sundays because it's my pampering day, my self-care day. It's when I just relax, cook a great meal. I get really tipsy, (laughs) drink plenty of wine and just uh, pamper with facials and all that good stuff. So Wednesday is my second favorite day of the week because it's Wine Wednesday. You get to enjoy your wine. What's in your glass, guys? Cheers. I hope all is well wherever you are. I hope my voice finds you doing well in life. I hope you're happy. I hope you're healthy. And I hope you're taking good care of yourself. And if no one's loving you, what are you doing? You're loving your damn self. That's right. And you tell them Tasha Bradley said so. And if you're new, welcome aboard. Here at A Daily Dose of Love, we are encouraging self-love through self-care. It's time to start loving you, putting yourself first, becoming a priority in your own life, and stop, you know, catering to everyone else. Cater to yourself. In today's episode, it's all about self-care ideas. We are going to throw throw some things out there that you'll be able to implement in your life, and uh, hopefully it's going to make you better care for yourself and remember that you too matter you know it's not all about the hubby the wife the children the parents you know and your everyone around you it's also about you it's about time you start taking care of yourself putting you first okay so these self-care ideas are going to start off with take a walk When's the last time you just took a walk and strolled through your neighborhood or strolled through a mall? Some people don't like to, you know, walk in their neighborhoods. I've noticed, haven't been to the mall, sorry, in a while, but I've noticed that when you go to the mall, there's a lot of uh, elderly and young folks that are just walking through the mall and using that as an exercise uh, routine. You don't want to walk out in the park or out and just go walk in a mall. So take a walk wherever you choose to walk, whether you put in, you know, music or something in your ear, take a podcast with you, (laughs) preferably a daily dose of love, you know, just get out and take a walk. Take a hot bath. Yes. Get into a nice hot bath and just normally I like a candle, some music and just soak. I'm not into bubble baths anymore because, you know, I'm over 40, I'm 55, so I do Epsom salt. (laughs) You got to take care and preserve these bones, you know, so take a nice hot bath. Take a nap. This isn't something that I do. My sister swears and lives by naps. Brandy loves a good nap. My nephews love a good nap. I haven't gotten into taking naps. Once I'm awake for the morning, you know, once I get up and I'm up for that day, I just can't lay down. I don't know. It's just not my thing. But hopefully next year in 2022, I want to start taking naps if time allows. So if you have that time where you're able to lay down and take a power nap for, I think they said between 10 to 30 minutes is really good. And it does make sense that you would reboot yourself. You know, sometimes the brain gets overwhelmed depending on what your day has been like, and you may need to just shut down and get back up. So yeah, I need to start taking naps as well. So that's it. Oh, and if you uh, write this down or just download this episode, you can uh, have all these uh, ideas with you. Um, watch reruns of your favorite sitcoms. That's always a good thing because as in our last episode, laughter is important. So you may want to, uh, watch reruns of your favorite sitcoms. I always love to catch Martin. Whenever I see Martin, I will binge watch Martin. I don't think there's anything else that I usually watch. So, oh, and speaking of laughter and last uh, week's episode, why did I call my grandmother Hattie Mae my dad's uh, father? She's my grandmother, guys. (laughs) So, correction. (laughs) You guys know you have to work with me with this little menopausal brain baby. So, yeah, just that stand corrected on last week's episode. All right, back to today's episode, self-care ideas. So, we've had take a walk, take a hot bath, take a nap. Watch reruns of your favorite sitcom. 
And also we have put a mask, put on a face mask, which I do on Sundays. So yeah, I do all my self-care uh, business on Sunday. So I also uh, do a mask, you know, scrub the hair, different things like that. But you know what I've learned? Self-care isn't just for Sundays because um, I think two weeks ago on a Thursday, my sister and I did a pampering night. It had been like a really busy week and it was like, oh, it's Thursday. So self-care could be any time you just feel like I need to pamper myself because I'm overwhelmed by all the stuff that I've been going through. So I'm going to take some time out and put a mask on my face. So that always feels good to put on a face mask. Clean up your bedroom or living area. So, yeah, clean up your bedroom or your living room area. So, you know, whenever you're surrounded by everything that's nice and clean, you're going to feel good. So, take some time out because we always throw everything in the bedroom. It may be a little cluttery, you know, with a lot of things around. So, get that together. And then um, plan out your week's to do's and deadlines. I normally don't do a to-do list. I don't know why, because I try and challenge myself to just remember things because of, you know, menopause where you get those brain freezes and different things. So I, I need to maybe do that. But normally I take care of everything I need to do within my week. So I'm good at that. But if you're one of those folks that, you know, need to write it out, your to-do lists and your deadlines, then make sure you plan out your week's to-dos and deadlines. That's always a good idea. I write some things down, but most things I just remember off top because I have to challenge myself to do so. Write down three things that you are grateful. Great. Uh, I'm sorry. Write down three things that you are thankful for. So do a little list and write down three things that you're thankful for. Today, I'm thankful for my health, for my family, and I'm thankful that I was able to beat COVID. So those would be my three things today. And for a long time, you know, that's going to be my thing. Do 30 minutes of light stretching. Oh, wow. That's cool. 30 minutes of light stretching. That's almost like a workout, right? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. 30 minutes of light stretching. Wow. I, I really need to implement stretching in my life because I jump up in the morning, get out of bed, and I just keep going. So you are supposed to stop and stretch. So, But for 30 minutes, hmm, okay, we'll see. I'll work on that next year. That'll probably be one of my, like, take a nap and also work on doing 30 minutes of light stretching. So, And if you've already been doing light stretching for 30 minutes, hey, good for you. Leave me a message and let me know, you know, where I can go and watch a video or something on YouTube or give me a book or something. So hit me up, guys. Clean out your email inbox. Oh, wow. I haven't ever done that. It's been forever. So I might uh, take some time out this weekend and get that done. So that's a good idea. Clean out your email inbox. All right. Declutter your clothes. I do this often. As like now I need to buy new fall and winter. So I will declutter things from over the summer. I got that really bad because my mother would always, always. I, I don't understand how women, you know, their dream is to have that huge walk-in closet. That's never been my thing because I can't see myself owning that much stuff because I'm always decluttering. So I'm like, nope, not going to wear this again. You know, once uh, winter and fall as we're upon now comes along I'm getting rid of last year's stuff to make rooms for this year's stuff I'll get rid of all this summer stuff and you know I just buy I buy seasonal so as the season comes along that's how I buy my clothes so and yes I declutter so declutter your clothes if you've had stuff in your closet from 10 years ago you're not gonna wear that maybe you can't fit it maybe you've gotten smaller bigger whatever just get rid of it guys stop holding on to stuff <laughs> declutter your clothes. Make that a priority, okay? Drink a cup of tea or coffee to relax. I enjoy tea. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I, I enjoy uh, cups of tea often to relax. So as of now, like now, I have my wine to relax. So hey, let me take a sip. Cheers, guys. Yes, this Merlot is really good. Anyway, listen to a motivational podcast. Isn't that why you're tuning into a Daily Dose of Love podcast? Yes, this is your number one podcast. <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty out there, but I know I am a motivational person. So 
I like to motivate, inspire, and just to encourage everyone to love themselves. I'm obsessed with loving yourself. I can talk about me and love me like for the rest of my life. Probably why I'm single and haven't been dating because I really love me. Anyway, listen to a motivational uh, podcast. And our last self-care idea is um, bake your favorite treat. Yes, I have been enjoying, you know, it's winter time, so we are getting into baking and the house smelling good of cinnamon and, um, you know, honey and nutmeg and all those uh, yummy smells, cinnamon, did I say cinnamon, vanilla, you know, different things. So bake your favorite treat. Lately, my nephew and I have been baking cookies. We've had sugar cookies that we didn't put sugar on top. They taste better like that. I used to love sugar cookies, but I'm burnt on them. Or um, we were baking a chocolate chip recently. We've been doing chocolate chip cookies. So yes, those are the self-care ideas that we have here. I hope that they um, resonate with you somehow. And I hope that you're able to uh, take some of these and start implementing them. Leave me a message and let me know how you feel about the self-care ideas. We have to really put ourselves on the um, forefront, guys. We are a priority. We can't just worry about everyone else and take care of everyone else and meet their needs without meeting our own. So self-care is very important, guys. Remember, we're going to do a breakdown really quick. Take a walk, take a hot bath, take a nap, watch reruns of your favorite sitcoms, put on a face mask, clean up your bedroom or living room area, Plan out your week's to-dos and deadlines. Write down three things you are thankful for. Do a 30-minute light stretching. Clean out your email email inbox. Declutter your clothes. Drink a cup of tea, coffee, and relax. Listen to a motivational podcast and bake your favorite treats. And I'd also like to add, light your favorite candle which I have lit my um, self-care essential candle by Tasha Bradley. I have pampering, which is a black cherry Merlot. Oh, the smell. These are soy 11 ounce hand poured candles. You can order directly from me right now. As I've told you all, I'm working on the website. My brother's supposed to be helping me out and like, dude, come on. Anyway, (laughs) um, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in again. My name is Tasha Bradley. Don't forget that you can join my public group daily dose of love on facebook where i am active 24 7 come by and say hello introduce yourself you can also leave me a message here after this uh, recording goes off there's a spot for you to leave a message you can clap for me when you hear something that you really like you can also sponsor the show which i would truly appreciate thank you to all my sponsors who are sponsoring me monthly you guys are appreciated So I'd like to thank you all again for tuning in to a Daily Dose of Love podcast. One love.